So for our next step on our solar charging station, we have to make the T-strap so that we can attach it to not only our pole, but also to our solar panel. So here is a close-up view of what we are going to be doing. And so now I want to take you guys through our steps. So as we go through and we back out, you can see our panel that's already completed and then our pole. And so one of the things to remember is on the pole is we have already drilled those three holes for our T-strap, but what we need to do now is, is to go through and set up our T-strap so that we can attach it to not only the panel, but also to the pole. So here we go. So now we're going to move over to the drill press. I have a jig set up so that we can do all of our drilling and so that everything will come out nice and even and everything will be the same. And so now I'll back up a little bit, wrong way. So now I'm going to back up a little bit so that you can see exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to take this strap and we're going to set it inside the jig so that we can drill our holes. And so now, if you just take it and then once again, it fits like a glove, baby. So we're going to set this up and now we can go through and drill it. We'll set our depth and our other gauge so that we have it all set up. So we'll bring it down, raise this up a little bit so that then we'll make it all the way through our pieces. And then this way we can go through and drill everything. And everything is set all nice and tight. And so we'll take it Drill all the way through, back out, and then now make sure you clean it out each time. And maybe what we can do is, is we'll make sure that when you guys are doing it, we have the little air nozzle here. So I drilled that one. So now I need to drill this other one. All I have to do is, is flip it over, slide it in. It's like a glove. Turn it on. And then now when you have finished that hole, all you need to do is make sure that the debris is all cleaned out. I have those two done. So now I just flip it over, slide it in, drill the hole, flip it over that direction, slide it in, and drill the hole, and then I will have all of my holes drilled to attach this strap to the solar panel. So now that I have that taken care of, now our next step Our next step is to now move over to this drill press and I'm going to zoom in because I have a couple of things that I want to show you so that you can see exactly what we're going to be doing. So now right back here I have a block set up that has the number one. Then I have a block that has the number two and then I have a block that has the number three. So now we're going to take the T-strap and we slide it in all the way until it touches back there on that very first block. And once again, it fits like a glove. So now I take this, turn it on, and now I'm going to drill my first hole. Hold on tight. And then after we drill that first hole, 
slide it out. And now I put in block number two, set it in so that it's right up against the first block, and now slide this back in for then our second hole. And so now, take it, turn it on, bring it down, take your time going through, shut that one down, now bring that out, remove block number two, and then now take block three and slide it into place so that it's nice and firm up against that original block. And then now I butt this one up against, holding it down, turn it on, and drill this one. And just take your time going through. And then now, I have those three holes all set up so that those will now attach to our pole. And then now we just remove these out, make sure you clean out the debris for the next person that's going to come in, and then they can start out by drilling the first hole, and then put in block two, and then block three, and then we'll be all set up. Yeah. Now, our next step is to now take both of our pieces, and I am going to set this first one at the strap, and I am going to set it up so that it is nice and even with this edge. And then now that I have that one set, now I'm going to set the T-strap on top of it, slide it down so that this end of the T-strap is even with this blue line. And now that I have that all set up, we want to take our clamps, a couple of C-clamps, and we're going to put them on to hold everything into position so that it's nice and tight. So can you zoom it back now? Not all the way, but enough so that then you would see. Now we have everything set up so that this one is even with this outside edge. I have this one lined up with my blue line, the T-strap. Everything clamped so everything is good and tight. And then now what we want to do is we're going to drill through right here these two holes and we're going to set rivets. And then we're going to do these other two holes on the other end and they're kind of diagonal to each other. Here if you have a little electricity to run your drill. Now get your drill, plug it in, and then now just make sure everything is good and tight. And now that you know it's good and tight, we're going to drill these two holes right here with our hand drill. And we got a handle on it so that it makes it easier to hold on to. So now we're going to put it in. So after you have drilled the one hole, now move over to the second one. And then now after you have done these two, now we're going to come over here and these other two on the outside that are diagonal to each other, and we're going to drill those. It's a little bit more difficult to drill the metal than it is to drill through wood. So now that I have those taken care of and I have those holes drilled, I can scoop my C-clamps off. I guess he's hungry. Safety first. So now we're going to take our two pieces and we're going to move over here and I'm going to show you how to use the rivet gun. Yeah. So now, I'm going to take our two pieces and we're going to rivet them together. And so what we're going to do is, is we're going to take a pop rivet gun and then we have some rivets right here that we will go through and I'm just going to show you two of them. <laughs> it's 
So we'll get those. And then this is a ball peen hammer. And we're going to use this end to go through and to knock and mushroom over the end of the rivets. So what you want to do is, is you're going to take the gun and you're going to take the rivet and this feeds into it. And you want to make sure that the gun is completely open. And then now that I have that, now what we want to do is, is realign with our holes, get it set up, and then what we can do is, is we're going to take the rivet and we put it in one of the holes, and then what I do is, is you squeeze down, and then it will break the rivet off so that this side is taken care of. But now, what I have to do is, is we'll have to mushroom that end over, and I'll show you that in just a second. So we'll get the other one put in, and then that end just falls out. And then now I get this one set up, feed it in, squeeze down, it will break off. Like a glove. So then you just throw this out. And then now what I'm going to do is, is I have my two rivets set in, but we have to flatten out this backside. And so now what I do is, is I will take it and set it on top of my pieces of uh, my two metal weights. And what we're going to do is, is we will take our ball peen hammer and on the end, we will take it and you just knock it down. So that it mushrooms over the hole. And then that way, it holds it so that nothing can move on us. And so now, I have it all flat. <laughs> <laughs> I now have it all flat, but you're going to finish and take care of those other two holes as well. And so everything will be lined up and then we'll be ready to then paint so then we can move on to attaching our panels, which are going to be these two holes on the outside that we have drilled. These are going to attach to the poles and we'll take care of that once we get everything painted. So another episode of Chuck and Banana Boy.